Okay, so hi, I'm Miyuki. Um, hi, no, I'm one of the GPs in this hospital. Just for confirmation, can I have a full name and age, please? Certainly.、Um, I'm Simon McRae. I'm 55、mm-hmm. years old. Okay.、Uh, nice to meet you, Simon. You so, how can I help you today?、Um, yeah. So,、um, I've came in. I've had、um, really, really bad stomach pains、um, mm-hmm. and、mm-hmm. very sick for about two weeks now.、Mm-hmm. Okay.、Um, and then, I, in the last couple of days,、um, I, my stool has been very dark, like black, dark. It's, it's really, and that was the last straw. It really worried me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, doctor, can you help me? You need to help me. I, I, I don't know what else to do, or what's,、yeah. what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to ask further questions about it. So,、mm-hmm. first and foremost,、um, you know, you, you said your stomach you know, started to,、um, around two weeks ago, and then a couple of days ago, you also started, like, you know, you also noticed like black colors too.、Mm-hmm. And then, are there any symptoms else you have experienced, you have experienced so far? No, no, it's, that's, that's it. That's all I could think of. So, did you, you know, did you like have nausea or vomiting? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I said that first of all. I've had nausea with the, with the pain. I've not really been、okay. vomiting, but it's, it's, it feels like I'm going to be sick. Ah,、oh, so you didn't actually vomit? No, no, just、oh, nausea. Okay, I understand. And also, according to the report,、um, the, you're also taking an antidepressants, is it right? Yeah, oh yeah, the doctor gave it to me. I, I, I'm very busy, I'm getting very stressed, I, I don't sleep very well. Okay, so do you know what kind of medication exactly it is?、Uh, I don't know, it's, it's a, um, something I, I've got, not got it with me, sorry. Okay, it, it, it's fine, right. And, uh, So, okay,、um, this might be associated with the symptoms. So, I'm going to ask you, you know, ask a few questions about the lifestyle as well as your family history. And is it okay with you?、Mm-hmm. So, do you drink alcohol usually? Moderately, with work. I you know, do a lot of business trips. So, it does involve you know, meetings and、uh, meals with, with clients.、Mm-hmm. How about smoking? No, no, I don't smoke. Okay, and then、um, so you've already, have, you've already have been taking antidepressant, but any medication else? No, no, that's it. I've, you know, the odd bit of aspirin here, paracetamol here and there, but not, not regularly. Sure. And then you also said like you are taking medication because of sleep difficulty, but have you ever, had, you know, have you ever experienced any diseases or disorders so far? No, no, nothing no. else. I've generally been quite healthy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then are there, you know, are there anyone among your family has a similar episode? I'm, I'm not really close to my family. I wouldn't know. Sorry. Oh, okay. It could be, but. Right, so you are not sure about it. I see. Okay, so there are several things we have to discuss, I think.、Okay. First and foremost, Taking all the information you've described me into account, I suppose、um, you might have some breathing wound or mass somewhere in your digestive tract. Really? Oh, that sounds bad. Is that bad?、Yeah. It might be.、Um, but because of it, and then so. Yeah, it could be bad, but you know,、um, like、considering how well you are right now, I do not think that is an emergency. So, yeah, okay. So, because I've got a business trip coming up this week,、um, really, really、yeah. important. I'm going to be flying out to America. So, how long is this going to take? Can I, can I go?、Uh, well, you know, that is also one of the things we have to discuss. And then, so. Okay, let's sort it out on one step by one.、Um, even though it is not you know, serious or you know, urgent, but you know, in the long term, it could be serious because a lot of things can cause your symptoms, including mal- you know, cancer or other diseases. 
I have cancer. We, we are not sure right now, but it cannot be excluded at this moment. So we have to need further examination. And then、okay. in this case, that could be gastroscopy or colonoscopy. And、um, do you, are you familiar with them? No, no, what are they? Okay,、um, you know, in these procedures, a thin flexible tube with a small camera is passed into your body to check, you know, in, to check inside the body. You put a camera in me? Yeah, like, you know, a small tube with a camera. Right, oh wow, okay. Because, as I said, you know, Some of、um, the p r o b l e m you know, might be located in the somewhere in a digestive tract. But we, you know, at this moment, we cannot,、uh, we don't know exactly where it is. And then the location has, is, you know, is really important to detect what it is and also how, what kind of treatment you have to、okay. take. So, how, how do you put a camera in me? Am I, do I need an operation? Well, it's not operation. So,、um, just, just during this procedure, you know, doctors will give you a medication throughout your blood to let you feel comfortable. And then, you know, during that time, you feel a little bit drowsiness. And in that status, you know, doctors put into the camera and then just to check, you know, how your body is getting on. And then this, is not, this will not last more than. One, in one hour, so it's very short. Okay, but you how, do do, not... how do they put a camera in me? Um, okay, so, um, as I you know, there are two types of you know, gastroscopy and then colonoscopy. Gas, as for gastroscopy, they put into the camera, you know, through your mouth,、right. while as for colonoscopy, they put the camera into your anus. My bum? Yeah. Do you put the camera at my bottom? I know this is you know, quite embarrassing, but. Wow. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Is that necessary?、Um, it is to, you know, it is to detect what it is, you know, what you have, what you're getting really. Right, right, okay. And then, so you said you have already trip, you, you know, have a. Plan to trip to the US. Yeah, so, yeah, and then even though this procedure itself you know, won't take a much time, however, there are several things you have to prepare before that procedure. It means we cannot do this today. Oh, okay. So, when, when can we do it? So, and also, this process, you know, this procedure is quite complicated. That's, you know, this should be done by e n d o s c o p i s t、um, professional healthcare profession who s p e c i a l i z e in performing this. Yeah,、oh, and, uh, I'm a specialist. Yeah. It is, it is going to depend on their schedule as well. So, as soon as this you know, session is over, I'm going to talk to them then to see you know, when exactly, exactly when is the fastest date. Okay. okay. And then if you You know, if it is okay with you, let's do this. But in case you cannot make it, so we, we need to you know, discuss further. Okay, right. So, and you said there's things I have to do before the test. What would that e n d out? What would、um, you know, Because of, you know, in this test, because doctors you know, want to check your you know, inside the body, you, know, you have to clean your inside the body. You know, before the test, test, meaning you have to, you are supposed to stop either eating or drinking you know, from one to three days before. No food or drink for three days? From one to three days, you know, but. But is that okay? Will, can I, can somebody go that long without food and water?、Uh, okay, so specifically, you know. It depends, on pe- it depends on individual, but I guess it is fine. And then,、um, in case you need it you know, urgently or you know, necessary, of course you can take it and then you know, we can deschedule it. Okay. 
So, so where, where, where do I go for those at that time? Who's going to look after me? Oh, okay. if I'm, if I can't eat or drink. I'm going to get very weak. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit concerned about that. Yeah, exactly. Um, on that day of the plot, you know, I'm, I'm going to, uh, as for vacation, I'm, I'm going to leave, you know. And then as for some, some, um, you need also someone because, you know, you do not have, I mean, after the procedure, you know, you might be still draw, you know, drowsiness because mm -hmm. of the medication. So it is a little bit risky for you to drive. So, okay, right. And then do you think, you know, do you have any idea of you know, anybody can help you on that day? Um, yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that would be fine, but depending when it was. Um, um, but I, it's, I, this business trip, it's really important that I go. I've been working on it very hard. Um, it's, is that going to be a problem? Um, it could be. But, um, so, yeah, I, I think, you know, I also it depends on people. So I think, you know, endoscopist will give you, you know, detailed instruction about it. Okay. Okay. And so these cameras, do they, do they go in at the same time? Do we, are we doing one test and then the other later on? Are they both necessary? What's, yeah. It's like a bit more information, if that's okay. Okay. Um, totally, you are, you know, you're wondering. Um, that is something we have to, you know, after this session, we are going to discuss um, with endoscopist, you know, exactly what kind of, you know, camera you need. And then it might be possible for them to done, you know, the, in the two procedures at the same time, but might not. So we we'll see it later. Right. Okay. Is it going to hurt? Uh, most of the cases not, but just few cases it could. Um, as complications of the procedure, you might have a little bit and um, small bleeding, or a little bit. You know, it's hard, but it is not you know serious, and it will go in few days. Is. So I'm gonna bleed for a few days. Wow. Well, okay. And then also, you, of course, you know, if it is necessary, you can take medication for it. Right. Okay. Am I? Am I gonna be able to sit down afterwards? Oh, uh, sit down. Okay. Uh. Well. And to be honest, I'm not sure about it. So I. You know, and those endoscopists will let you know you can do it or not. And then, if you if you cannot, you know, they give you um alternative instructions about it. Right. Okay. Okay. And so, how what's the how long will it take me to recover after this? You said I'll be bleeding for a few days. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, how, am I going to have to take time off work for this? Because obviously, I'll be not eating for a few drink, drinking for a few days before. Oh. Right, and it's um, days afterwards. So indeed, you know, before the procedure, um, you have to stop just eating, just a bit, a little bit of time. But after that, you can, you don't have right. to worry about it. And then you also, you do not have to take a day off. I don't. You can okay. work. You, you can work. So it won't be a lot of bleeding afterwards. Not a lot of, and just small. But you know. If there are a lot of brains, that is emergency. So you know, without don't hesitate, come don't hesitate coming to us. Right. Okay. Okay. So you will help. You will help me afterwards. Of course. Yes. Usually, just you know, the the amount of breathing is just a bit, or many people do not have any breathing. Right. I, I, no, okay. That's good. That's good to hear. Thank you. And then also another thing. Um, uh, this is about medications you are taking, antidepressants. So, and then these medicate, um, even though you don't know what type of medications you're taking right now, but some or some types of antidepressants are linked to um, gastro tract breathing. Oh, so it's the tablets the doctor gave me. Maybe. So it's just possibility. So, um, what, you know, 
What I suggest you right now is, you know, I would like you to discuss your GP about it, whether you can you can reduce or decrease the amount of medications or change the medication to another, if it's yeah, possible. Quite. So if, if you just give me another tablet, would that stop the bleeding? Would I not? The, I wouldn't need the cameras. Well, um, unfortunately, no. Just oh, oh okay. So even though it's changing it, you know, you might you are required. Um, we need to do that procedure. Sure. Okay. Now. Nah. Okay, so just now I just stopped for the conversation now. So first of all, how you feel about it, Yuki? Um honestly, you know, uh he you know, a lot of questions ambushed me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were dealing with it very well, so I just kept yeah. worrying about you. <laughs> yeah, but it was very helpful and it was very good to say. Yeah, I was going to say, you will also get patients like that. So, yes. you know, give them the worst case scenario, you know, it's going to help them the most. Yes. So that was my yeah. thought. Yeah, those are challenging, but yeah, it was very, very, you know, um, good practice. Okay. okay. So, just now, is so Simon. So, you can give it a um, feedback to Yuki, please. Sure. Yeah, okay. Um, Hi Yuki, so firstly well done, I, you yeah. thought you were really really good and um, your English is very very good, it's only, I don't, there was actually no parts where I was confused or didn't didn't understand what you meant, so well done. Um, I think on a medical side, um, yes. and, you know, I think you did very well, I don't know if you seemed a bit unsure of yourself at times or if that was part of the translation, um, there was a few, some things didn't necessarily seem very as quick a response which might in a patient's eyes kind of put you know um, leave a bit of um lack of trust some potentially um but i think that that's something that you build on regardless of what the, the reason for it was um there was one point I, I i felt which i i know this definitely from a nursing side um when he said about what could it be and your first response was cancer which is why i jumped back in with oh you're telling me uh because that is all a patient will to hear. So my, my, just my, my personal opinion and, um, and what I've seen from with patients, start with something smaller, you know, it, it might just be this. It could be, and then lead into that, but, you know, to ease them into a little, a little bit, but remind them that we, we do not know anything until we've got those results and push back, because that, that's why it's so important that we, that we do those. Sure. Okay? If that helps at all. <laughs> so, this is from me, exactly what the Simon said. Don't jumping up for something really severe complications for the <laughs> conditions. Okay, so we were talking about for the previous diabetes patient and the amputation. Different <laughs> not. Okay. Yep. So it's sometimes when you speak with the patient procedure, some people are it's really nervous for the, any procedures even mm. endoscopy top on bottom it doesn't matter because they already had endoscopy going to the sco scope we don't know how so that's gonna be sometimes we already know the procedures it's quite a basic procedure how does it try the patient come we really give the example say it I'm going to give you a little bit more sedation, that's more relaxing, and all the time right. you talk to surround. We already did whatever you do, we can explain to you, so you're nothing worried about it. It might feel like minor pain or minor bleed, but we already expected that. So, yeah. Yeah. that kind of a sentence is you might need to explain for the patients before the disease. Mm -hmm. Okay? Otherwise, if someone's patients are scaring, um, might be declined for the, any investigations. Like at the end of the conversation, you said, you're going to give it for if it bleeds, doctor, give you a medication. That's Simon replied, oh, if so, that don't need it for any investigation. We don't need any support. If so, okay, so what we need to do, if you don't need it, um, of course, we need to be investigation. Um, right? We need investigation to find the cause of the bleed. That's the reason why you need it. 
So that kind of explains for a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Sure. Anything else, Simon? No, I think that was it for me. Oh, just um, just on a you know less professional side. Um, if you're ever talking to a man about putting something up his bottom, <laughs> I would suggest it, you know, go very kind of gently in with that conversation because they they're not going to feel comfortable with that. Um, and you know, be prepared to talk about I don't know lubrication or something like that, just because it's going to help ease them a lot. Yes. Okay. Okay. And I just need to be talking about for privacy. <laughs> yes, and yeah, keep keep your voice low when you do that, or be in a enclosed room with nobody else around. Hi. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's really generally really good, Yuki. So well done. Oh. Yeah, yeah, very, really well done, really well done. And Simon normally very good for the acting anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. You know, he's a very talented actor. Nothing <laughs> as well. <laughs> It's really, really good. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Simon. No problems. If you need me at any point, please just ask, and if I've got oh, the time okay. free, I'll be yeah. happy to do so. Um, you yeah. keep good luck with it. Um, if you do yeah. come to the National, come and say hi. Um, we do yeah. recommend a place to work. <laughs> and thanks for your help today. Not a problem. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Simon. Thank you. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah, bye.